Congressman Joe Garcia today visited one of the three South Florida shelters taking in the immigrant kids. He wanted to see how they're being treated and look for ways to stop the influx. This is a result of a humanitarian crisis going on, uh, collapsing economies, a sta failed states in many cases. And so we need to deal with this problem the same way we deal with problems in Africa, the same way when we deal with the crisis in Europe, we're going to deal with this problem. The problem is growing daily. Thousands of unaccompanied kids, mainly from Central America, showing up at the U.S. border. In the early 90s, they averaged about 6,000 a year, but the numbers have jumped exponentially, and this year the number could hit 90,000. Undeniably, there is a problem of humanitarian proportions in the Rio Grande Valley sector that we must deal with. We're told there are about 150 newly arrived immigrant kids at this shelter in North Miami-Dade. We can't tell you the name of the shelter. We certainly can't show you the faces of the kids. We've been asked to protect their identity. This Miami facility is a major improvement over what the kids first encountered in the Southwest, where some were kept in fence cages. If they were adults, they would be immediately sent back across the border or held for deportation. But children are treated differently. What's clear is when you deal with children, we give them extended due process because they're children. Taking care of all these children, nearly 50,000 of them at this point, it takes money. All the money will come from Washington. As for what happens to these kids in the future, there is no guarantee they will be allowed to stay in the country permanently.